Hello everyone, I am back for another World of Warcraft guide video. In this video, I'll be giving you tips on how to obtain the Nazjachar Serpent, which was added in the BFA launch. Much like the Alani Mount in Mist of Pandaria, you will need 20 Abyssal Fragments, which drop in specific locations throughout BFA zones. But have no fear, unlike Sky Crystals for Alani, these fragments are actually BOE, so you can sell and purchase them in the auction house. Your server will depend on the cost, but right now these roughly go for about 15,000 gold each. So be prepared to pay a hefty amount if you don't want to farm any of these. There is a way to target these, however, and they are not completely random world drops like most guides would suggest. If you take a look at the drop enemies for Abyssal Fragments, you will quickly notice they have a similar theme or pattern. All of them are associated with the theme of water. You will find eels, cultists, naga, loyalists, etc. And from what I can tell or until it's proven otherwise, that's the only place you can find these drops, even though they are only around a 1% chance. So the area I decided to farm was actually the only place to farm these fragments on beta, and it just so happens to be one of the best places to farm them, for the following reason. The area is full of naga and eels and they respawn fairly quickly. Aside from the Tide Lord, they're actually pretty quick to kill with decent AoE. The footage you're seeing now is when BFA first launched, and I'm barely even 340 item level, and they're just getting destroyed. The biggest reason, however, to farm this area is that you can find weapon racks all over the Naga camps, which do roughly 50% of every enemy that you attack's total HP, and it can crit. As you can see in the footage, it's very powerful and makes farming this area far more efficient than the others. Now, keep in mind, even though I'm recommending this area, there are plenty of other areas to farm the fragments and don't expect to get all 20 in one sitting. I decided to farm them all and it took me several weeks, so please don't watch this guy thinking you can get them all immediately. It will take time and dedication if you don't want to sink any of your gold. Once you've finally obtained all 20 of your fragments, you'll want to head over to the Shrine of the Storm flight point. Once you've gotten to the flight point, you'll want to follow the path down until eventually you'll find a few waterfalls and an enemy standing in front of it as well. Kill the NPC and then walk behind the waterfall. Here you will find an altar of the abyss. After you've combined your 20 fragments, you're going to receive a new item which you need to use here at the altar of the abyss. Be prepared to take a small amount of damage. At this point, you'll have an item called the Apparent of the Abyss, which then tells you in the tooltip to make an offering to the Abyssal Flame. However, before you do anything else, please bring a friend. The enemy you're going to fight has 1.3 million HP, and while it probably can be soloed now, you will 100% lose the item once you summon him, and if you die, you will have to recollect the 20 fragments. So be on the safe side and just bring a friend to make the kill a guarantee. So from this point, you have your friend, you just need to go to the Warsong camp, right over to the Saltstone Mine, which is located at 4636 in Stormsong Valley. Head in the mine, and the Abyssal Flame will be in one of the dead ends, as you see in the video. Summon the boss, make sure you kill his tentacles, and the boss should fall over fairly easily. It is important to note that only you receive the mount, but the NPC will drop another item that currently has no use, even though it does seem to complete an unknown future quest. So that's it. Congratulations on your new mount, and if you like this guide or any of my other guides, please be sure to subscribe and let others know about my channel. It helps me greatly. Thanks guys, and have a good one.